Greetings, the Astro30 here yet again and welcome back to AEL. Now, if you're new to this channel, please consider going down below and subscribing if you haven't done so already. Cheers. In today's short little video, we're going to be looking at how you can identify on a MOSFET. In this case, I've got a 2SJ162 P-channel lateral MOSFET sitting here on the desk, which is used in audio power amplifiers. How you can identify on the schematic symbol where the source and the drain pins are, especially if they're not marked, which one is the source and which one is the drain. So, in the case of this MOSFET, it's gate, source, and drain from left to right, so GSD. But that's fine for the physical device of this particular package, but it doesn't help us with how it's represented on a schematic. So for a P-channel MOSFET like this, its schematic symbol will be represented like this. We have an arrow pointing out, going to one pin there, and there's the other pin. And that's what it would look like on the schematic. Now, the source pin is easy to identify on this particular uh, drawing. And some people opt to draw the, the flyback diode on the inside of this device here. I prefer not to have that represented on the schematic because it makes it look cleaner. But the source pin is the one that always has the arrow on it, either pointing into the device for the N channel or pointing out of the device for the P channel. So this pin would be the source. The opposite pin would be the drain and this middle pin is the gate. And that's the easiest way to remember it, is that this arrow is actually the source. And that's all you need to know. And in most cases, the drain connects to the supply side of the circuit, and the source connects to the lowest impedance path of the circuit. So in the instance of a power amplifier, the drain would connect to the positive supply rail, and the source would connect to the speaker. And that's pretty much it. That's how we identify where the source and drain pins are on the schematic. Now there are various different ways of drawing a representation of a MOSFET. I have actually seen them drawn like this before with the circle if you want it. But still, the source pin is the one with the arrow on it, so that's source, drain, and gate, respectively. So that's how you identify the drain and the source pins on a schematic symbol for a MOSFET. It's always the pin for the source with the arrow pointing either into the device or out of the device. And that's going to conclude today's little short video. Hope someone found this very useful. I'm the Astro30, and if you enjoyed this video, please remember to go down below, like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And as always, this is the Astro 30 saying, see ya, thanks for watching, have a great day.